Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here by InfoSec Operator. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a small step back, and I kind of failed to cover this in previous videos, is, um, you know, what, what do you need to know to begin becoming a really good cybersecurity expert? Um, or even just branching into the cybersecurity field in general, uh, the, the, these are things that you're going to run into whether you like it or not if you ever want to get anywhere in cybersecurity or information security. So uh, the very first thing that I have here is probably one of the most important things no matter which um, cybersecurity path you choose, and there is more than just simply cybersecurity. Okay, there's uh, within cybersecurity, there's also subfields, I guess you could call them, such as you could specialize in network security, you can specialize in things like uh, website and web application security, system security, and I'm sure there's more, but they're not coming to mind right now. But, you know, no matter which path you choose within cybersecurity, you're going to need to understand programming. The languages that I have up on the screen are not the only languages, but the primary languages in which you should understand um, to begin becoming well-versed in one of these fields. So I have listed Python. HTML and JavaScript. Now the reason why I have HTML and JavaScript is because eventually you are going to run into online security uh, being that of a website or a web application and you're going to be looking at source code and um, how a website is working and running uh, via its code so you're going to need to understand HTML and JavaScript. I'm sure there's more um, you know, we know that uh, there's Ruby on Rails, there's Angular, um, you know, many other languages, but I'm talking about the very basics here. You should understand HTML and JavaScript. The reason I mentioned Python is more for your ethical hacker or penetration tester, um, but also it does work in web development too. But Python is primarily for your exploits, your viruses, and things like that. So you're going to need to understand how to read that, how to create, um, you know, code and uh, through Python to carry out specific uh, tasks, such as breaking into, um, you know, multiple things. Python can even manipulate uh, memory, and you know, much like C programming. But Python is pretty easy to learn. Uh, next to HTML and JavaScript, so that's why those three are the primary ones that each of you should start out with. Then moving on to number two, um, I would highly recommend that each of you uh, learn one or more Linux flavors. Um, if you're highly interested in becoming an ethical hacker and penetration tester, uh, you're not going to be able to avoid learning Kali Linux. Kali Linux was specifically designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking, um, and it is the leading Linux for such. So I would learn everything that you can, starting with Kali Linux. Um, that's where I started. I never knew that Ubuntu, CentOS, Debian, and Fedora, and all that other um, Linux versions existed. I actually started with Kali Linux. So I would recommend uh, that you start with Kali Linux, but if you're not really interested in penetration testing or ethical hacking, um, you are still going to need to understand some, some structure of Linux uh, in order to succeed in this field. Uh, so things that you can learn within Linux is file structure, running servers, um, you know, how to bring um, programs onto that Linux and run those programs and set them up. It's not quite as simple as Windows where you just click and download and it basically does everything for you. Um, you're going to have to call them in through the terminal and things like that. So uh, definitely learn Linux. Learn everything you can about Linux. 
And then number three here, it goes for no matter what field you, you choose, even if you're not in cybersecurity and you're just in information technology or computer science, you're going to need to understand networks no matter what you do in the computer field in general. Um, so, you know, things like the OSI model, TCP, IP, um, how data is packed and sent and encrypted and decrypted and loaded over across the network to its destination, how, how computers communicate with each other. Um, without networks, computers are irrelevant other than basic uh, mathematical calculations and things like that. Um, so definitely you're going to have to study networks. Um, a good resource for that, and I'll go ahead and link it down into the description below, is cyberay.it. You can get the entire Com CompGIA Network Plus um, certification material on that website for free via video and other resources. So you'll become very, very well versed in networks by the time you're done there. Number four. Uh, I would recommend being mathematically savvy. Now, this isn't exactly a have to, um, of course, unless you're getting into computer science or cryptography and information security, uh, then uh, you're you're really going to need to understand at least up to um, you know calculus level mathematics. So uh, definitely look into becoming a little bit mathematically versed. Uh, now if you're into cryptography and cryptanalysis and things like that, uh, it, I would definitely place it up there with programming because as we know cryptography is completely 100% mathematically based. So um, learn, learn the fundamentals such as Caesar ciphers and then work your way up to more uh, complicated complex versions of um, cryptography such as RSA, uh, you got SHA-256 and um, all kinds of things like that. Okay, And then last but not least and probably the most important if you're in any computer field is you should generally love to tinker around with computers both hardware side as well as software side. Um, you know things like rebuilding a computer from scratch, you know, getting your own um, HDD or hard disk drive and uh, how to set up RAM, SATA slots, things like that, uh, you should you should know. And then you should understand, you know, um, how, basically how the internet works. Again, that goes back to networks. But you should just have a love for simply learning everything you can about computers in general. So guys, um, that's that's how you start getting into a cybersecurity field uh, of your choice. And of course, this this video wasn't as technical as uh, my previous videos because I wanted to give the people, the new people, um, people who who've thought about cybersecurity, a chance to understand what I'm doing on this channel in the first place. Uh, it's not always going to be advanced stuff there will be advanced stuff especially as I grow in the field but you know there's a lot of new people out there who don't even really understand uh, cybersecurity in general so that's what this video was about so guys thank you for watching the video thank you so much for um, hitting 70 subscribers on this channel if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you're new here uh, go ahead and do that so that way you guys can learn from scratch all the way to the advanced stuff and not miss a single thing in between so I will see each of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.